Hey guys, Clarice here, and today we are watching Hacksaw Ridge starring Andrew Garfield. Now, this is a film that's been a long time on my radar since about 2016 that I've never gotten around to watching, and I'm a big fan of war genre-based films and Andrew Garfield, so I'm looking forward to seeing kind of what we get, and I hope that you guys enjoy. If you are interested in helping support my channel, you can check out the links down below that link over to my Patreon, where I offer full-length reactions, and it is the best way to support the channel if you guys enjoy. Please, if you like like this video, give it a like or a subscribe as that helps boost the channel. And with all of that, let's just get into it. Mm. Based on a true story. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, beautiful. Don't, Don't fall. <laughs> what are they fighting about? Now, when they ever need a read. <laughs> <laughs> stop and save me whipping them both this way I just dang the wind. Huh? <gasps> oh oh God. What the <gasps> are you done? you can't hear me shit that oh my god that went so south like Omi was just punching him but then the kid got a ah oh, dang ah oh, head head injuries are so tricky oh That's no nice. I got it oh no oh this poor no. both of these kids out. No, don't tell me he killed him. Don't tell me he caused like a traumatic brain injury. This movie might cause some of my southern accent to come out. It's such thick southern accents. I gotta say, it's a little like... It sounds a little like a put on accent, but I gotta hear more of it. Lord's Prayer? Yep. <gasps> oh my god oh god oh god tourniquet 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 yep i'm gonna make a fucking tourniquet finding something he can do oh and he see a pretty girl mm. hey there desmond she ain't looking at him, I know. Is that Teresa Palmer? Army physicals that way. This is forgiving blood. Yep, I think it's I think it's Teresa Palmer. I'm just here to take blood. I'll give you mine. Oh? I go to that room over there and wait with the others. I'll call you. Okay. Oh. Okay. That room. Where are you going looking all spruced and nice? Yeah, Nurse look at him. Room. Nurse over at the hospital, her name's Dorothy Shooty. I'm gonna marry her. Goodness, oh. does she know that? Well, not yet. I'm about to. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Welcome to a woman. Well, in that case, come give your brother a big hug. Aww. <laughs> Wish me luck, mama. Aww. Why is he so wholesome? I like the costuming so far. It's really nice. Oof. So much. I was gonna say so much um it makes me think of so much um advancements in medicine medicinal practice and surgery just came from treating veterans treating wounded warriors um during the war uh post war times you know needing to learn how to reanimate recreate a face and all of that it's so um so sad I've noticed um as I think I've mentioned before, I have um, family and dear friends uh, who have served. If by chance this reaction comes out near Veterans Day um, and or any other form of Remembrance Day, um, thank you very much for your service that each of you served. And um, what I just thought of is the dad clearly being a veteran and you just see all of the contempt and just the sorrow of what they must have experienced and also him being like him saying something like it's like these boys never existed that's really truly what i've seen is such the sad reality of how veterans are treated not all the time but a significant amount of the time when they come back home and yeah just uh wanted to point that out i'm really looking forward to seeing where this goes uh with all of that because clearly this is very much going to be a film around war uh, and violence. I'm interested in seeing what kind of a statement it's making on that. You're the belt man. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Every time I think about you, it beats faster still. <gasps> That's very I never sweet. I've that one before. It's pretty corny. 
<laughs> it is. <laughs> well, that's a shame. I, I don't practice that all night. Oh. No good? That I is really that. sweet. That's really sweet. Oh. Dolls? You gonna try to make a move? You don't know her yet. Another medical question, perhaps? Mm. No, I just think you're the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Last few months have been dark. No, it's because you're Teresa Palmer and you're beautiful. You're just beautiful. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> you need to watch where you're going. Oh, well, okay. That's that's why. That's why. I guess. Um, was it worth it? Was it was it worth it? Oh, nope. Not not not. You didn't ask. Fair. Thought you might have liked it. Well, I might have if you'd asked. Fair. Fair. You coming? Ask next time. That's it. That's it. Dude. Okay. He's got as bad. He's got as bad of a sense of spatial awareness as I do. That's why I don't drive. <laughs> oh. I just hope that when our Hal gets shot, it's through the front of his jacket, like a simple entry wound. Not much mess. Get out of my sight. I think I want to uh, continue with this reaction, saying that I. Don't know what's coming from this film on the commentary it's going to make about war and violence, but me as the individual watching this in my reaction, I will look to most likely most veteran or soldiers with a with a gaze of empathy and um, non-judgment. And if that is something that is troublesome to any of you watching or perhaps triggering at all, then it's okay. Feel free to click off. But with that scene, it looks like Hugo Weaving. I think it's Hugo Weaving, the actor. Um, but he is doing something truly, beautifully authentic to what I have seen of the wounded soldiers, of the wounded warriors, seeing the cycle of their children and the PTSD that comes from that. Uh, it's just, it's it's very sad. I understand where the dad's coming from. It stinks that he's not the best person either. So I want to let you all know. So if it's a little too much for this with this reaction, it's okay. You can watch something funnier or something a little lighter. Maybe you can click over here. Maybe I'll suggest something for you to check out. Take care. Hmm. He's a sweet boy. That Dawes is a sweet boy. Now he knows he should ask. Aww, the little Andrew Garfield face. Look at him. Aww. Are you gonna help me, Desmond Dawes? Or are you just gonna leave me stranded? No. <laughs> He's so adorable. But it's gonna cost you. Oh. What? A kiss. Mm-hmm. He's got like the face, like the just the vibe of like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> like a younger Mr. Rogers, and I kinda love it. You ain't gonna slap me, are you? Fair. I'm gonna, off. I'm gonna take you with me. Mm-hmm. Kiss me and find out. Oh look at that. It's almost like somebody wrote these lines for you to say. No. I love how they've styled her hair. <gasps> there we go. What? I have to enlist. Oh. I can't stay here while all them go fight for me. Yes, you can. Don't you can stay here. I have to. I won't be a medic. I will say it's also really hard being a medic <laughs> in, the, in the armed forces. <laughs> I don't know how difficult it was at this time, but just having a few friends who initially enlisted because they wanted to be a medic and that just went like fully downhill and ended up working out somewhere else. <laughs> just because you don't always get your pick at what your occupation is in the armed forces. So are you going to ask me to marry you or what? Oh. I don't know. You're still going to have me? Well, I wouldn't know. You haven't asked. Hey, he needs well, to ask. With all my heart and then some, you marry me? Then yes. Yes, mm. I will. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, I love you. Yes. Turn 
<gasps> Dude! Oh, God. Not in attention. <laughs> Vince Vaughn, what the fuck? What are you doing in this? What the heck are you doing in this? <laughs> Lol. You try not to laugh. Ah. Oh, There's something off in your presentation, Private. Is it your hair? Mm. Oh, yes. Of course. That's it. The knife. Who mm. threw the knife? I did, Sergeant. Private Krasinski. Are you grinning at me, boy, or is that your natural state? No, Sergeant. I have seen stocks of corn with better physiques. <laughs> pull an ear off, Private. Fair. Carry your weight. I said move it! All right, just get in my uniform, sorry. Shut up. I believe any man who takes such pride in his natural naked state <laughs> will surely enjoy the brisk of the outdoors. <laughs> what now, the fuck? private, private parts. Have you ever roped a goat, Hollywood? No, Sarge. Have you ever looked into a goat's eyes? No, Sarge. Good, that would be unnatural. What the f- what are these lines? <laughs> no, if you don't breathe, you'll die. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> He's keeping up with him well. <laughs> Why take it out on him? You're gonna be brothers in the co in combat, like. What the hell is wrong with you? No one said take a rest. Yeah. Yeah. Nice work, guys. Yeah. He's thinking like like competing with his brother and stuff. Don't point your gun forward. Ooh, he's not gonna grab one. Dawes didn't grab one. I was I was told I don't have to carry a weapon. Come again, step forward, Private. I can't be here in this right. <gasps> Ooh, let's go. Well, I'm sorry, Sergeant. I can't touch a gun. No problem, just a mistake. It's, uh... Sam Worthington! Okay, why is this movie just packed with so many? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I, I, I told the Army when I, when I joined up. Possible. Mm. You're a conscientious objector. And you join the join army. The army. Oh, no, sir, I'm... I'm putting you in for a section eight psychiatric discharge. Dismissed. You see, Private Doss is a conscientious objector. So I plead with you, do not look to him to save you on the battlefield. So I will expect everyone in this company to give Private Doss the full measure of respect he is due for the short time he will be with us. I have thoughts. <laughs> I get, I get where they're coming from, but I think it's also my own, my own bias lens of thinking there's so much you can do because I think of the role of people like chaplains, uh, who, you know, they're sent out to tour in enemy territory and they are not allowed to carry guns. So they're in just as much danger, but they do not hold a weapon. So I think of that, um, I don't know if that was something that was existing at this present time. So I, I don't know, you guys, please let me know. Um, I ask again that if there, are any, if there are any of you that are active duty or former veterans that want to queue in with any of this, please let me know. I just ask again, everyone, just that in the comments, please be kind um, and respectful with all of this. I'm not going to tolerate any sort of um, foul language, derogatory sentences or anything like that. I'm, I won't tolerate it. But again, I just think of, I'm like, there's so many ways that you can save people when your focus is not on killing the enemy. I think of that in common tactics because everyone serves a different role. And there are certain people that are not signed on within a military tactic to be the, I guess, main executioners per se. Um, and so I'm, I'm interested in seeing where this goes because of the fact of him being like, don't count on him to save you in the field. And I'm like, but he could save you in the field. I'm like, he very well could save you in the field if he's not reloading a weapon. Like there's other stuff he could be doing to help you out, you know? But that's me because it's Andrew Garfield and I want to uh, believe in this, but I like what this is. I like what this is bringing up. I like what this is bringing up. Oh, all you really want to do is give me a section eight, draw me out of the army, but yeah, not all. Simply believe what I believe. Well, I'm trying to understand. I will say it is a peculiar predicament, um, but I don't know. I'm 
you guys let me know what you think in through the reaction but as someone myself who stands by certain things in which that they believe no matter what outside forces people whatever even if it doesn't seem like it may be in my best interest i believe and stand with what i believe and i understand the peculiarity of how that could seem to other people but someone who i think um with certain choices that i made in my life it's paid off uh wonderfully and i have been able to have the conscience to say that i stood by what i believed in um and such i have a lot of empathy for desmond in this choice he's making because he truly does uh, believe in his right to serve and to help um, his fellow men, but not in the conventional way. And I think it's incredibly honorable. I think it's the kind of thing that is incredibly honorable and it is not an easy decision, nor is it cowardice. I think if anything, it shows a feat of strength, not to opt out of a fight, but to make the conscious choice amidst your feelings and emotions that even though i feel this terrible rage against my other this other person maybe that has caused me harm i'm making the choice to not incite violence i am making the choice to act against my carnal desires of revenge and um and i'm choosing to turn the other cheek I think that is a much more courageous and strength and strong position because it's not easy. It's not oblivious. It's not easy. It's not saying that, oh, they're just hoping that everything's going to go fine. No, it, it's being consciously aware of exactly how difficult it is to make that decision and making that decision. So I think it's very respectable. And yeah, I don't know how this is going to go. I want to know how a person like that survives in the army let alone in war it's unique Hank, was it was it god who told you but i'm sorry i will not bear arms yes. he has he has the right to bear arms and not to bear arms religious views are certainly unique but they do not constitute to a section eight discharge exactly maintain discipline with a man like that in my unit uh-huh no. work as a combat medic provided yep. he qualifies in all other areas of his training Yep. So if he doesn't qualify, you can kick him out. Even his idea. Gosh, your area is a disgrace. It's a pit stop. To my understanding, sergeants are not allowed to do that anymore. Y'all let me know. But if they are still allowed to do that in current uh, standing, ooh, that sucks. No sword. You got some shit on your mind. No sword. There will be no passes this weekend. Mm. You will all be on KP. Oh, right now, everybody no retaliation for just just height. for this one guy. Please, in the comments, I, I'd like to Don't hear if any of you have stories of basic or things like this. And also, let me know how things are now. We're gonna keep going till I drop. Why the hell are you still here? Because, because God told him he's meant to be there, even when it sucks. Read the story of Job. <laughs> Private Doss, I'm afraid I can't authorize your pass. This is a furlough for men who have passed the basic training. Show me you know how to handle a rifle, and I'll sign your furlough. He does. I, I'm oh, pretty sure he does Private know Doss. how to handle one, but maybe I'm just making up stuff. Maybe he doesn't. Won't touch a rifle, so oh, there we know. go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm completely wrong. I was just, it was false conjecture. I thought maybe because he grew up on the farm, maybe he knew how to handle a gun. Nope, he's not touching a gun. Okay. All right, we're doing this. We're doing this. You were telling me. How much longer would you like to wait, Dorothy? Oh my God. I think it's been long enough. <gasps> I'm so very sorry. Sometimes men just get cold feet. No. Some men might. Not my Desmond. That's right. She knows. She knows her man. She knows he's something. Something's happening. They wouldn't let me call you. Oh. I knew it wasn't your making. She knew her man. It's like some men, not mine. Oh my. What the hell is going on out there? I didn't go. I want to know if this That's happened. A war uniform. It is, sir. Let me have the letter. 
He did what he could. The defendant's rights as a conscientious objector are protected by an act of Congress, and he cannot be compelled to waive those rights. Signed, Brigadier General Musgrove, War Services Commander, Washington, D.C. Colonel? I withdraw the charges, sir. Then this case is dismissed. I hope you guys still enjoy the reaction. I know I'm not commenting as much. It's just because it's such serious subject matter. I don't really <laughs> feel very comfortable cracking jokes at something so heavy. Yeah, but he better come home, though. He, he sure as heck better come home. Oh, wow. Sergeant Hal. Good to meet you, sir. Sit down. Who's Doss? How do they know who Doss is? Is that the medic? Is it because he can take care of him? The jabs deliberately target the wounded. Oh. Use all your Red Cross markings. Nips put a premium on shooting medics. Damn. The white's a bullseye. Damn. Okay. Yeah, I got you a new helmet. Shit. It makes. It, yeah. No, 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 no. <gasps> Shit. You hurt? Oh, fine. Gosh, I'm so, I'm so nervous he's gonna get hurt. Hey, hey! Give him a shot of morphine and move on. He's not gonna last a day. Please, please, Doss, no! I'm gonna get you home! I got you, Al. Okay? Stretch up! I figure if we can't see them, then they can't see us neither. Cover his back. I got him, Frank. Are you hit? He was lucky he was watching his back. Oh! Oh my god! Oh. God, I'm so scared every time they jump in the hole. Come on, stick it. Come on! Stick it, cool. Come on! Oh! Shit! just again just it's so much um it just watching this it makes me sad that these men of this time those that survived had to go back into and reassimilate to a new world that oftentimes didn't give a shit about them and people that gave their all for the idea of fighting for the country particularly men particularly men of this time not really being allowed to cry or feel or experience the pain the damage the heart the fucking trauma that is war and having to resolve to self-medicating with terrible horrendous habits whether alcoholism addiction opioid addiction because when they came back they weren't cared for just like how his dad said there he's like that's what we do we fight our own and then we don't mean nothing all the respect i have and all that i am um, my heart goes out to these brave fucking men and women particularly at this time these brave fucking men these people they don't deserve the sad, sick treatment that I've seen military personnel get every now and then. Not the soldiers. Complain about government or the concept of the military, all that, the, the bureaucratic shit, sure. But not, not these boys. Our humans just like all of the rest of us. And sadly, some of them have seen more than many of us will in a lifetime. That's so why part of I, I appreciate that war movies help give a glimpse on that. And for me, I don't see it as anything that is glorifying, but far more a lens into this aspect that does affect all of us in some way. I like that this scene is there and you just have these soldiers just talking about the reality of war. 
everyone deserves to speak about their trauma to somebody and be and be heard and just share it's healing it's helpful it's at the least it's helpful even if they say that don't change much it doesn't in the moment but in time it can <gasps> shit 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 what is that oh <gasps> nightmare nightmare yeah nightmare Yep, they're already up and ready. They're coming from under the ground. My god! Holy shit! Oh my god! You- Oh my god, it's a fucking horde! <gasps> god, I'm so scared. Oh! No, 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 no! Mmm. They said we're gonna let the- Oh! Oh my gosh, they said we're gonna get- We're gonna let the Americans take that land and then we are going to ambush the shit out of them. Oh my god. Sunshine, this is Baker 6. Come god, I'm so scared of him dying. Man, I don't want Vince Vaughn to die. Ah, shit. Get him, get him out of there, get him out of there. Get out of here, get out of here. No! Come here, fuck. No! <gasps> oh no, wait! No! No! No, 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 don't you do that! Come on, come on! Come on, Smitty, stay with me! Come on! Come on! We gotta get out of here! No! Gosh, you telling me our boy's still up there? You're telling me our boy's still up there looking for wounded? Put your hand on. Uh, Keep pressure on. I'm coming back. How are you gonna get them down? Is he gonna lower them? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my word. <gasps> Y'all better notice that fucking body! Y'all better fucking notice. Shit. Shit. What are they doing? <gasps> Stop. No. No. No! <gasps> Oh. <gasps> Hide him. You can't take him. You can't take him. Don't do it. Don't do it. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, hide in the hole! Hide in the little hole! Hide in the hidey hole! You lucky son of a gun. <gasps> Fucking stop! Oh my god! Get the fuck out of there! You got the grace of God, son. God needs you there. Oh, son, you better fucking hide. Saved by the power of color grading. He's gonna scream. He's gonna scream. He's gonna scream. I really want to know if that actually happened. It sound it feels like something made for Hollywood, but I really want to know if that happened. Wow. Please, Lord, help 
me get one more. Oof. I was just wondering if his hands were about to get start singeing from how much from how much he's been rolling the the ropes. Somebody go up there. One more. Oh. You're still in there. Get out of here. I'm coming back. You ready? Let's go. You and me, come on. They better send in reinforcements. They better send in freaking reinforcements. Just Doss. Just off. Doss. Yeah. Doss the coward. Ha <laughs> oh. ha! Oh! No! 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 No, I think he's gonna die! No! Not die! I'm nervous Dowel's gonna die now! No! No, Dust! You're like I'm on a shoe, ain't you? Give me this. <laughs> it's a bit late for target practice now, don't you think? Nice! Smart! Smart! God help him get that last one! Last one! Oh my gosh! Arms up! Oh fuck! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh my gosh! <laughs> he did it! He saved so many lives! I like that he's smiling. And the will and power of God is within you. It spreads like... It spreads like wildfire. Wow. <gasps> yep. No. Gosh. <gasps> they learned. This Bible. This Bible. Where is it? <gasps> oh. Got it. Seventy-five. His own heroics, he remained characteristically modest, giving all the credit to his god. Absolutely, man. When I got this, I said, Lord, Lord, please help me get one more. And when that blood was washed from his eyes, his eyes came up, man. He just lit up. He says, I thought I was blind. And if I hadn't got anything more toward that smile he gave me, I'd have been well repaid. Alrighty, guys, that was Hacksaw Ridge. Wow, an incredibly, an incredibly beautiful story of bravery and courage. And the power of faith in your convictions that's incredibly inspiring. I really had a wonderful time with that. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I know that my commentary, maybe I wasn't really saying much um, in it. And it's really just because I was more engrossed in the story of what was being told. And given serious subject matter, it didn't quite feel, I didn't feel comfortable just cracking jokes. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed nonetheless. I do not know when this will be released, but if by chance it is released anywhere near Veterans Day, just finishing that up to any military persons that are watching my videos or veterans out there, if you have enjoyed this, if my video in any way was, um, I don't know quite the words, entertaining, um, helpful to you, really, I just want you to know that myself as a single individual who feels genuinely very, very proud to have been able to now call myself an American. 
the great sacrifices that you made for that for this country i thank you for your service i wish you all the best your gracious brave acts i'm so grateful to all of you thank you and i just wish for you that you all receive the help if you need it with that guys i wish you all the best i really really sincerely enjoyed this movie uh i like that it is a wonderful message of hope and i look forward to maybe learning some more info about this story from you guys in the comments if you know i'm really looking forward to that and i hope that you guys do too every single one of you watching remember as i always tell you that you each deserve love joy happiness and all of the wonderful things in life and in honor of this i pray that you are each blessed wonderfully by an amazing God with so much joy and love in your life. I wish that for every single one of you guys. And I hope that you have a great day. If anybody wants to keep watching videos, <laughs> you can click on either of these two. And I will see you all next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And bye-bye.